howling V12 engine, stunning interior, mind-bending speed. The world would be a boring place without the Pagani Zonda. But after a decade of brilliance, production of the Zonda is coming to an end. The most extravagant of supercars is about to be no more. Whilst that brings a bit of a lump to my throat, I have been given a final chance to say farewell. This is the one million pound Zonda R. A track only version, it's the last and most extreme hurrah for Pagani's iconic hypercar. But don't shed too many tears. Rumour has it that this is the test bed for the next road-going model. It sits just two and a half inches off the ground with this massive front splitter and huge front brake air intakes showing that this Zonda means business. It's actually a 90% all-new car and sits on slick Pirelli racing tyres. At the rear, there's a six-litre version of Mercedes racing V12 engines, and it produces 750 horsepower, which is 190 more than the first Zondra I drove, and it's 200 kilos lighter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please hold tight. <laughs> Cable, this right foot of mine is now connected directly to that six litre V12 engine. So when I press it, the wire pulls it, and we go. Oh, God! The weight of the steering is what gets me most. It's absolutely perfect. I can feel the front gripping and sliding. Along with a completely new chassis, this is the first ever Zonda with a flappy paddle semi-automatic gearbox, and gear changes take just 20 milliseconds. With such technology, lightness and brutal power on offer, perhaps it's no wonder that this car recently lapped the Nürburgring in just 6 minutes and 47 seconds, eclipsing the likes of Ferrari's fastest production car, the 599XX. Magari has set me out with a traction control on position 4 and 12. And I can already feel it holding me back out of those tight corners. So, you know me. Oh, a slip of the finger there. And now, the engine barely releases. Whoa, now it's frisky. Oversteer's coming now. That's what we like. The bats begin to twig. Whoa, let's party. Whoa. But to get the maximum out of the Zonda, concentration has to switch to racing mode. Oh, you should all be able to drive this. We should have government-run Zondas. Oh, I want one. I want one so badly. Oh. I'm just trying to convey to you all how, how exciting life is when you get the rare, rare opportunity of driving something like a Pagani Zonda R. It's just fantastic. This is perfect for Paris. They've it's, designed it's, this car for Paris. Yeah, exactly. I've got the cactus bit. It's about defending yourself. Air bumps, essentially bubble pack strapped on.